Okay, this is video two. This is the other side and the rest of the auction. That's an embroidery on silk right there. Going in, seeing a nice blue ocean rug. You want a nice rosewood Chinese um, altar table. This is a good one right here. It's a vintage smoke glass vase. Two Buddhas. They're ceramic, but uh, nice faces. These are hand painted Chinese creamers. Very nice. Of course, you got the snuff bottles and a little sake cup, table dong, apothecary jar, and there's your vintage uh, cruet set. What else we got in here? Okay, that's a Wyman table, if you know your furniture. That's really nice. And the box down here is a transit set. Um, should I have that ready? That's a vintage transit. That's for leveling. These are Mary Frances handbags, if you know designer handbags. There's a cute little dessert stand with the birds. Um, the paper I can't think of who it is, but his sign piece. These are little berry, uh, fairy cups, cute. Uh, Chinese lion food dog made out of stone, carved out of stone. Here's a vintage inkwell, uh, brass inkwell. Vintage cordials, just some vintage silver plate that had good design and character. <clears throat> you know what that is, more apothecary jars. There you go. Look at these gold flake glasses with 2000 uh, millennium champagne glasses. Okay, this is an old hammered uh, uh, coal bucket. As far as selling in boxes, I don't have that many. But um, in that box is um, a chess set, Onyx chess set. Just a box of vintage items same way in this box and then we have these two new Lennox pieces we have a this is never opened um, printer we had a fan oh and home security we got this cobra all these items were new and they weren't even opened yet up here, we're going to sell these two boxes of perfume bottles. There's one number. There's a vintage biscuit jar. That's uh, an old silver plate that's not sterling. And of course, he likes swivel sticks. There's some vintage bar items. Nice, nice picture. Now this is nice. This is Reed and Barden, uh, Denmark. Uh, these are silver plate, but even that little coffee pot, if you were buying it by yourself, it'd be about two fifty to two ninety. That's a Reed and Barden tray. Another cruet set, Limoges, assortment of vintage goldware. Um, don't even know what that is. Haviland. Those are two vintage Haviland pieces. Look at this 24-inch Stein. A building across the street is our county clerk's office. Not that you care, but 
These are the little hammered uh, brass, uh, not brass, tin um, wall hanging. Nice picture. Got five bell buckles, little uh, Limoges trinket box. Here we're selling the bull carving set and we're throwing in the deer. These are uh, stone um, carvings. Vintage, these two pieces. This particular one is a coin in, um, in makeup. Vintage Parker pen. We got Parker, we got Cross, we got, uh, I don't know who else is in there. I'll think of it. Paper me. These are new bell buckles, horses, and of course, I think you're familiar with these Italian figurines. We're selling this as one number. These two boxes, decorative boxes. That one will actually fit inside this one. This is my Thai baby. This is a hand-carved Thai baby. The lady lived in Thailand for a while, bought a lot of uh, dust pewter, just bags of flatware if you like flatware. There's an old coffee table we picked up. This is hand painted, um, stool there. That's a vintage piece. That's from Thailand. Okay, you gun people, I have lots of ammo, 44, 30, uh, 357. Uh, for you people who like to load your own, there's $2,000 worth of loading uh, items. There's a leather belt buckle holster. On it. Let me take that off. That's a clover leaf table. Okay. Nice little Chinese uh, jewelry box, or you could use it for whatever. This pewter is old pewter, vintage pewter from Holland. Let me make sure. You look for your set. Nice little set. This is also a nice set. This is sold as one lot, just a few items thrown together. Now we're getting into some vintage Chinese. The tray, uh, these are old. This is a poison A box. Oh, these are old Chinese. Let me move you up here. This is um, stone. That's, that's carved stone. Okay, this is sterling. Nice little uh, sterling. Uh, and with putting together the weighted uh, cream and sugar with it because they're odd pieces. Nice old vase. Can't see it, but there it is. Uh, these are carved. Okay, Chinese. We have... Uh, Lady Hand, I I really like this. This is a vintage wing sofa or wing love seat, as you call it. Uh, down cushion, cute. Pedestal, 19th century Chinese face. Uh, looks like Mary McGregor. This is an older piece. This is uh, ivory, heavy piece, ivory. There's that Thai puppet. See? Okay. This is a grouping we did. Again, you got some cloison ages, vintage, but we just put it together as one unit. For you people like to have uh, 
decorative items. There you go. Now, way into bronze. This is old bronze. This, this bronze. Well, that's one number. And we go to these plates. There's a stack of these. And that's who it is. Okay. Back here, we have a Chinese... That's a Chinese lunchbox. Um, and we're throwing in this mortar and pestle with it. These are little hand-painted uh, dessert dishes. Okay. Now, oh, again, here's two boxes of perfume bottles, one number. And we have this little stool. On top of this, this is one of my favorite pieces. And a vintage, like 1950s, little tin bartender who uh, used to pour and a little smoke could come up. I haven't put batteries and checked it out. I'm just going to sell it like it is. In the back, you can see that's one of my bank vaults. That's around 1909 over there. We got one that's in the 40s. Just thought I'd throw that in. Okay, this is um, Bernhardt furniture that was made for Martha Stewart series. So um, this store didn't have it. No. Well, I'll get it in a minute. Anyway, um, little side table, that's not hers. This king size bed, this belonged to an attorney in Boca Raton. Okay, this is a cute little roll round table too. Okay. This, um, she has two different end tables. What I figured is nothing matches. She liked this piece and that piece. She said, can't make up my mind, so she bought one of each. Let's see. There it is. See where it says my... Th okay. Now, these are cold-painted bronze. There's a pair of these. Um, and it's ironic. Both of them are missing this arm back here is gone. These are very heavy. Little stools, a pair of those. Nice bedroom set, king size. There's the other one. There's a, there we go. Again, there's our bank bolts back here. This is the other furniture piece. These are vintage bronze empire lamps. Look at them. See the base? And they had candles in the top. Cute little dresser set right here. Now, this was in the bathroom, similar to this setup. And you see her back here? You turn her around. And she had a Bodie holder, so this could have been a night light. You could go in the bathroom and have a little night light. I thought it was very nice. I think that's all. Whoop, I got a chandelier. I got to go back. Oh, how can I pass this up? You know who this is? Get into your table. Very rare. Excellent condition. How could I pass that up? Anyway, I have a chandelier up here I wanted you to see. You didn't see that rug either. Oh my goodness. Bags of jewelry I didn't show you. That's not a hole. That one's a not a hole. These are real pearls. If you're in the pearls, real pearls. Uh, that's sterling silver, weighs 4.55. That's sterling. There's another 
and a necklace right there. We're selling yeah. these two pieces together, necklace and bracelet. Here's onyx, you like onyx, real pearl, and more bags of costume jewelry. I don't know if I showed you the area rug, but that's an area rug. And now for the last one I'm gonna show you is the chandelier. Chandelier. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the auction.